Hey guys, David with Cosmic here. Today we're going to go over setting the electronic wastegate position on your VB WX. First you want to get your uh, access port out and pull up wastegate position actual in the bottom right here. Um, for fun, you can also put the position command and final and also the position learn correction is another number that's nice and handy. Um, and we're going to go over all of this, but you'll want to get the car in the on position not running with these values pulled up. Uh, good idea to go ahead and take some pictures of this numbers just so you know what it is and you can reference it later. From there we're going to come over here with the car still in the on position but not running. You're going to find your electronic wastegate, which is that guy right there. We're going to unplug it which it can be very tight. You may notice that the little high-pitched whining noise has stopped. Obviously that was the solenoid holding the gate and you're just gonna plug it back in now. And what that will do is disable the actuation of the wastegate, but still allow our measurement readings to work. And then from there, what we'll do is take something like a long screwdriver, whatever works best for you. And delicately, delicately, we're going to close the wastegate so as close to the solenoid motor as you can. So there we've closed it. And then we're gonna track our position actual is one five. So we probably need to go a little bit further. I may not have moved it enough. All right, so we got it one five. Anything from our testing sub 2.0 um, is maximum. You, know, you do not want to start at a negative number on this. Um, so you can see it's 1.5. What the learn value is, is the ECU over time, every time you get into boost, we'll do the math and learn what the offset is from um, this position actual versus zero. And we'll give you this correction number. The reason why it's 0.98 and the actual right now is 1.5 is the car is cold and everything's not expanded and stretched and the wastegate actuator itself will pull a little bit stronger than what I'm prying with a screwdriver with. So you will see that learn value when the car is cold, maybe a little bit bigger. As the car gets hotter, you're doing pulls, etc. that number will go down. You want that learn value to be above zero, uh, preferably not a negative number, and uh, less than one for sure. Um, ideally, a safe position to set a stock turbo or a stock replacement turbo that uses OE-like wastegate arms would be a base initial position of 1.0 on the position actual. Um, the larger turbos like the ETS turbo kit, uh, we're setting them up anywhere around 0.5-ish uh, is a great starting point. Uh, the ETS kit, significantly easier to adjust as far as its positioning. As you can see, stock turbo it's not ideal to get up in there. If you have a stock header, it's even worse. Um, I would advise actually adjusting this wastegate before installing the kit. It's significantly easier if you have the, the kit down here, just get it up close, plug your wastegate in, and do this setup time before you actually install the turbo kit. Um, that way you don't have to worry about getting up there and loosening and adjusting and whatnot um, in very tight quarters. So. If you found the video helpful, give it a like, share. Um, I'm sure that this will help a lot of people avoid some check engine lights regarding the wastegate setup and questions in the future. Thanks. So once you've finished setting your wastegate position, you'll come into your access port, key on, car off, do a reset ECU procedure, um, follow the instructions on the screen, finish with the key off for uh, at least 15 seconds, um, once you finish the reset procedure, just for a quick um, math check, so to speak, 
Uh, again, even before you install the turbo kit while it's still plugged in, you can just come in and turn the key back to the on position and do a read codes. And if it's mad about the initial wastegate position error, while it won't throw a code on the dash, it will throw an immediate check engine light on the access port in the read codes menu. Um, so you can do that, again, just as a quick sanity check uh, before spending all the time putting the turbo kit back in uh, in case it does need another adjustment. Uh, hopefully this will help save a lot of people a lot of headache and time uh, setting up aftermarket turbo setups or even stock replacements.